So in this video, I'll be showing how I use this one light to create these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome once again to my small home studio. So for you guys who are new to the channel, this shooting area is a relatively small shooting area. It is only about 3.5 meters deep and 2 meters wide. And as I said in my intro, we will be using this one light, this one LED light to create the portraits that I showed you. Now what is this light? This is basically a brand new light from a company called Pixel. Let me show you. This is the Pixel P80, so it's a continuous light. It's RGBW, I'll explain later on what the W means. It's also got um, a lot of UHSI mode and of course, all those effects for video. But to be honest, it's not something that I would normally use for photography. I only like the fact that it's by color and it gives really beautiful, well, not necessarily soft light, but it's also, it's got a diffusion panel here already in front, which technically diffuses and make this, makes the light softer. However, again, having a soft light is dependent on the size of the light source relative to the subject rather than the diffusion panel here. But I will show you how to properly use or I'll demonstrate how to properly use a light like this, especially with this modifier, the barn doors, because this is a very underrated or underutilized modifier, but it does serve its purpose, especially from, for some nice dramatic light. And also, full disclosure, the company did send me this light for testing. However, they do not have control about the contents of this video and how I'm going to be using the light or my thoughts about it. Okay, so let's talk about this one later, but let's talk about the setup. So this backdrop here is a, it's a backdrop, it's seamless paper from Savage Backdrops, but it usually comes in like nine feet rolls or nine feet wide rolls. But what I decided to do was cut a small portion, maybe about, this is about eight feet, maybe seven, eight feet high and five feet wide for it to small in this, uh, for it to fit in this small shooting space. Now let's get into the camera that I will be shooting with today. So the camera that I will be using today is my Sony A7 Mark IV with a 50mm 1.2 lens. Wait, let me fix the lens hood. Let's put it here. Especially that we're using continuous light. I don't want to get into any flare into my lens. So I'll be using the 50mm 1.2 lens for this shoot because I'm going to be doing a half body shot. And for me, the 50mm for this particular studio is perfect for that half body shot. Now everything that you will be seeing is recorded straight out of the camera with the help of this one, my Atomos Ninja V. My Atomos Ninja V is connected to my A7 IV via HDMI. So it's basically getting a live view of everything that my camera is seeing and that's what it's recording. So therefore everything that you will be seeing is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing will be done unless stated otherwise, which normally I put at the very end of the video. So what are my settings? My settings right now, are 1 over 125 f12 iso 100 but to be honest since we'll be shooting with continuous light this will change later and i will explain on why the settings are like that the most important is basically my white balance here as you can see it's set at 5600 kelvin because this light i will set at 5600 kelvin so with that out of the way, it's time for me to call in my wife, Coco, who will be my model today. Babe, come on in while you're coming in. Let me turn off this light and I will explain why I need it off. All right. So hi, babe. Hi, babe. <sighs> I miss this. We haven't shot for a while, right? And of course, we'd like to thank our friend Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup for today. Now, as I said earlier, the settings of my camera will change dependent, of course, because we are shooting with existing ambient light. So. With this light here now turned off, I want to be able to control my existing ambient light and make sure that all the light that's coming from, uh, the, all the light that you will be seeing will be coming only from this Pixel P80. So let's set it now. I'll have my shutter speed at one over, 
there, 1 over 125, my aperture at f1.2, and maybe my ISO now, I will drop to 100. So right now, everything is pitch black. So everything, all the light that you will be seeing will just be coming from this one, the Pixel 8T. So let me turn it on. Okay. So what's so special about this light? Well, basically, this light is an RGBW light. In other words, it's got red, green, blue, and white so that you can decrease the saturation a little bit. It's also got HSI, in other words, U saturation and intensity mode, and what they call the effects mode. So you see that in a lot of LED lights. Now let me control the power of my light using this one. It's got a remote control too, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's a very nice remote control. It's big, it's got an LCD with it, and you can control the color temperature. Let's say there, I'll change color temperature make it cooler, and then make it warmer if I want to there, but I'll bring it back to 5600 Kelvin, which was the setting that I wanted to play around with. However, of course, babe, let me just talk about the light for a while. Are you okay? These remotes for me are really outdated already. The beautiful thing about this particular light is that you can control it using this one. You can control it using an app, which is actually pretty cool. And it's very simple to use. So all I have to do is turn on my pixel mode, uh, my pixel cam, and then detect the light. The moment that the light is detected, I can basically control every single um, feature of this camera, so uh, of this light. And this app, to be honest, I've been using a lot of apps, and this one is the best looking app that I've used so far. So again, I can change it to 9,000 Kelvin, maybe 2,500 Kelvin, then bring it back to 5600 Kelvin and you can change the, the, the color tone to magenta or, or more green. I'll keep that at zero because I want to see how this one registers in terms of the, the skin tone. Let me bring it back to zero now. There, zero. And intensity, I'll bring it down a bit, okay, so that I don't blind Coco. This is pretty cool also. You've got RGBW here, so basically, all the RGB lights, red, green, and blue. You can play around with it there. And then of course you've got HSI, again, HSI, U and saturation, and of course you can change the intensity too. But this is the one that's pretty cool. You could go to camera, you could just point, let's say for example here, this light here, and then I will obtain it and it's automatically gonna shift the light to the color that it sees there. Pretty cool, right? And of course you've got the usual effects like lightning and all those things. But for this particular shoot, I'll just go with, with the normal 5600 Kelvin. As I said earlier, the thing is with this light is that no matter what you do with it, as is, it will not create really nice soft light. I think it's a bit too strong. Let's make it weaker there, about 20% power, okay? So no matter what we do, we're not gonna be able to create beautiful soft light right out of the box. So since we know that we're gonna get hard light, therefore we now pose for hard light. So you might as well take advantage of what this light can do. So what I'll do now is maybe I'll bring it up, bring it really high up, there, then tilt it down, there, pretty cool. So from there, Let's see, my settings are okay. Let me open up all the barn doors first. There. And it's actually pretty cool already. All right, babe, let's get into your pose. Very nice. So since we're shooting with hard light, maybe you could look at me first. There, fantastic. Since we're shooting with hard light, we know that the poses really need to match hard light poses also, right? So let's do a few more, babe. Now, what do these barn doors do? You see the background right now. I can actually flag it so that I can have less light in the background. There, perfect. Okay. Oh, too much. I removed too much light in the background there. So that I can create that nice, like, square light on you. I like that. Maybe I'll put the light somewhere here. Nice thing about working with continuous light is that what you see is what you get. I love it. 
what I'm trying to do is I'm tweaking the light so that there we go. You could see that it's creating a nice pattern on her face. Maybe I'll underexpose it a little bit more. There. Beautiful. So now we have, we've maximized the light to create really nice dramatic light. However, what if you want to make it softer? Therefore, we have to diffuse it a little bit. So let's open up this one, bring it back somewhere here, and find a way to make the light source larger. And I usually do that with the help of something like this. This is what you call a scrim. This one's made by Photix, it's one by two meters. And all I have to do is put it somewhere here. And with that, wait, you know what? I will just put this here and I'll get a light stand with a clamp to hold it in place. I think I have one right here. All right, perfect, I have one right here. Okay. Your pictures are amazing, babe. Very nice. So let's clip this here and then move it really close to Coco. There we go. So you could see that I can even control the spill of my light by controlling the barn doors. Let's say if I do this here, I get less spill on my background. There we go. And with that, we have beautiful, soft light. So now since I've diffused my light, I need to make it stronger. So let's just use the remote here and maybe put it at about 70%. There we go, 70%. Then let's fix our exposure now. There, very nice. I love it, babe, look at me. Very nice. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just to recap, basically what I did was we took advantage of that small light source that created hard light, but beautiful light and fixed the poses of Coco to, to give that drama, to, to basically match the light to the pose. Now, since we wanted to create some soft light too, we decided to diffuse the light with this big diffuser here. This is a scrim by Photex 1.2 or one meter by two meters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some more of my, some of my images or more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.